in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for pray you're making me uncommon. I'm becoming uncommon. I'm a joy to my family, to all those around me. Bless be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word koinonia, please write it down. The word koinonia means there are actually seven meanings. It's a Greek word from the text that we just took. The word koinonia. It has seven meanings, but I'll just focus on three of them. Number one, it means communion. The coming together of two people. It means intimacy. A state of closeness that brings about oneness. Intimacy. And number three, it means partnership or joint participation partnership or joint participation i have discovered in my life and i've studied from scripture that this word koinonia enshrined in this word is the revelation that holds the key to true power true anointing many of us when you see a man that is mightily being used by god we say this man is anointed or this is a powerful man of God or this man is full of grace you know and so on and so forth to mean that there is a rich deposit of the ability of the Holy Spirit in that man's life and tonight I want to show you the secret because there is a secret I call it an ancient secret an ancient secret that is responsible for power genuine authentic power the ancient secret that is responsible for timeless relevance relevance that cuts across dispensations relevant that cuts across age and geographic barriers koinonia that word hmm. every man in scripture we, we see when, when you read from Genesis down to Revelation, you see that God used all sorts of people. He used Tamaras, He used thieves, doubting people, temperous people, educated people, illiterate people. So there were all kinds of people with their personality differences and temperaments. But one thing happened to them all. They had encounters. And they came into this mystery called Koinonia. And that was the secret of the rich deposit of the spirit in their lives and it made them relevant through the dispensation of their generations and some of them were even referred to in dispensations that were not their own for instance abraham we make reference to him transgenerational relevance koinonia everybody say koinonia there is a state of intimacy and fellowship that you have with the Holy Spirit that will translate into the anointing of the Spirit working in your life. And tonight I'm going to guide us very briefly into it and then we'll pray. There is something that you can know. You know, through the past months we've been exploring the concept of relevance, success, impact and all of that because it is very important. It's not only enough for us to explore prayer spiritual things the gifts of the spirit you know and so on and so forth it, many of us will be consoled our christian experience will comfort us when we begin to learn the principles that make us relevant 
Hallelujah. Koinonia. That secret that the ancient knew. Right now we teach all kinds of formulas and I love principles. We teach methods of getting the anointing. I've, I've read a lot of books, especially in recent times. There are all kinds of books and all kinds of things that attempt to teach people on the anointing. And I'm telling you, unfortunately, many of these people that write these books have not demonstrated the reality of the anointing in their lives. And so they have written theological dissertations about the anointing and the workings of the anointing. And the way it translates into making a man relevant. And many people have applied these principles. Right now, we, we, we think the anointing is something or the power of the Holy Spirit is just a formula. Do A, do B, and then automatically it will happen. No, no. You are dealing with somebody. You are dealing with a personality. You are not dealing with an animal. You are not dealing with an object. You are not dealing with a machine. You are dealing with a real person. Who has emotions a real person who has a who can you can have fellowship with and if you do not understand koinonia then you may never taste kingdom relevance in your lifetime hallelujah fellowship the fellowship of the spirit here paul begins to speak in in second corinthians he said the grace of our lord jesus christ that grace is also the love of God. And it says the fellowship of the Spirit. The fellowship. The constant coming together. The joint participation between you and the Spirit. Let it remain with you. I hope you know that the Corinthian church were a powerful church. It was, it was in 1 Corinthians 12 down to 14 that Paul began to talk to the Corinthian church because they were walking mightily in the gifts of the Spirit. They were moving in spiritual things. Paul even had to talk to them. And in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 40, he said, let all things be done decently and in order. He had to come in and bring order because the demonstration of the Spirit upon their life was so rich, it was creating chaos. And the secret... He encourages them to keep doing what they had been doing that brought the glory and the power of God. And he said, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship. Do not ignore fellowship with the Holy Spirit, he was telling them. Make sure that you do not get too busy in life and in ministry. Make sure you do not become so much of a, a, a minister, a preacher, a celebrity that you forget the fellowship of the spirit because your relevance is tied to it this is what paul was trying to let the corinthian church know that the fellowship of the spirit be let it remain let it not become an occasional thing because the church was getting famous they were doing great things they were getting busy just like many of us are becoming busy let me tell you something with people when they start out with God because there are no invitations, permit my bias, I'm talking about ministers, but it applies to every area of our lives. As a minister, when you're starting out, no one knows you. There's no ministry, there's no invitation, no grace speaking. So it is easy to stay in the place of fellowship. And I'll share a few components of that. You know, you stay, you experience that koinonia. You can dedicate a whole day a whole week but then something happens when you start becoming busy there are all kinds of ministrations here and there you have invitations and you have to even select which one to go and which one not to go at that point the the grace and the impetus to continue koinonia is affected because right now there is nothing to lose even if you stay for one month and you don't read anything there are tapes that have recorded the workings of god in your life and those tapes will open doors of ministration when you stand there will always be something to share and god cannot deny himself so you will still see the grace of god here and there in your meeting and then many people become stunted and many people even lose relevance 
I preach the message and you can get the teaching, the secret of sustained glory. I think it's a preparatory message to what I'm sharing tonight. And if you don't have it, you can get it from the media. It's free. The secret of sustained glory. The secret of transgenerational relevance. I don't want to be a man of God who will be relevant for four or five months. And then one day they'll say, ah, I remember. We used to know this guy. Oh, he loved God. I don't know what happened, but it has happened. There are so many people like that. In this country, there are men who were relevant in certain seasons. They carried the banner of spiritual things. They pioneered certain great things. But right now, their voices are silent. I want to tell you something. When you lose the fellowship of the spirit, you have lost the place of spiritual power and you have lost the place of relevance. When you lose koinonia, when this word becomes foreign in your life and through your, your words, you cannot mention that word frequently again. I'm assuring you, you have lost spiritual power. Everybody say koinonia. Say fellowship. That fellowship of the spirit. The psalmist understood this. And he said, cast me not away from your presence. He said, take not your spirit from me. It was the Holy Ghost that took me. It was koinonia that took me from a shepherd boy to become a king over the nation of Israel. And he said, oh Lord, cast me not it's because of the presence of the Holy Spirit and this participation is because of my joint partnership that I've written so many songs I've written so many hymns that I am considered to be a great king because of one that works together with me and it says oh Lord cast me not away let nothing happen in my life and in executing my work that makes you cast me from your presence because at that point I will begin to lose relevance hallelujah this happened to his son called Solomon Solomon theologically speaking wrote the book of Ecclesiastes in his fallen state hallelujah that's why he wrote all sorts of things vanity upon vanity he was angry all his vanity he was communicating frustration because he had done all sorts of things the man who saw the manifest presence of god twice it was solomon who prayed at the dedication of the temple he said now arise so god and come to your resting place it was solomon now solomon had lost the place of koinonia and he began to lose relevance and he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes, advising people and communicating his frustration. He said, I gave myself to everything. Everything my eyes saw that I wanted, I got. No restraint. Because you see, the place of intimacy is the place of pruning. It's where God creates boundaries in your life. It's where God builds you. And as you're moving, prosperity, influence gives you options. It enlarges your coast. And it takes you returning to the spirit so that he will set boundaries. Otherwise, you will break boundaries until you lose relevance. Hallelujah. It is the absence of koinonia, listen to me, that can make a man of God begin to walk and live very well and do great things. And when he finds out that God has blessed him with a large congregation made up of all kinds of pretty ladies, lack of koinonia, a visitation and a sustaining, um, remaining in the secret place that can make him compromise on the secrets and the principles that sustain the anointing until there are all kinds of of trouble in his life all sorts of things here and there disturbing a man of god's wife sleeping with somebody who came for counseling i'm not castigating people the mercy of god is still there but i'm just telling us it can be prevented are you getting my point now you can you can prevent it it can be prevented sorry you don't have to wait until you pass through it and then try to manage it. There's a great man of God. I honor the man so much. He has a television ministry. He was a great evangelist, mighty evangelist. Then, if there was a little scandal, not now that a man of God can even come on stage and say, I'm gay, and then nothing happens. Congregation doesn't change. Then, no matter how little the scandal was, you've lost your ministry. A great man of God by the name Jimmy Swaggart. This man did mighty things. 
he was in the class of Benihin and Reinhard Bonke and all these men of God. Mighty man, but just a little scandal. Just dropped him down. And he's risen back today. He's doing great things, but he may never be like before again. Hallelujah. A man of God who starts in the secret and now becomes and all that he's obsessed about is cars. He, he can sit down browsing all through the night. All sorts of cars because it's just to make the order and in six weeks he's, he's in his garage. Lost without restraint. Everybody say koinonia. The secret of true spiritual power. I'm teaching us this because it is important that we become relevant. What are the components of true fellowship with the Holy Spirit? What must happen in your life for us to really say you're fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit? What does it entail? Koinonia is not just a vague thing. It's, it's something that is, is, you can describe the activities that happen in that secret place. Number one. Or before we even talk about them, let me just tell you something. If you want to enjoy intimacy with the Holy Spirit, the first thing is that you must recognize and respect His ministry in your life. You must respect His relevance in your life. This is very important. Very, very important. I can never be close to you if you do not communicate to me that I am needed in your life. Is that true? How many of you have found yourself restraining yourself from certain people and friends because they act every time you are around as though you are a, you are a what? You are a pest. Is that true? Have you seen people like that? Even when there is fire falling on their head, you say, let it fall. The last time I went there, they treated me like a dog. Can I tell you something? The Holy Spirit is God. Make sure you write it. The Holy Spirit is not an archangel. The Holy Spirit is not the first man. The Holy Spirit is God in all the fullness. So you must be able to respect and be prepared to receive his ministry. I learned that from Benny Hinn. Till today, when Benny Hinn stands upon his crusade stage with hundreds of thousands of people and millions of people, he gives acknowledgement. You know what it means to acknowledge a man? Go for occasions and you find out that if there are dignitaries seated around, they don't start the occasion proper until you acknowledge them. In our midst here is so, so, so and so and then they say a little bit about the man. He was able to do this and while they are doing that, the man is excited, he's happy and there are ushers already standing close to him. Say, ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome this and that and his lovely wife and two of them try to pretend i don't want to go and they say please sir we must we love you too much this seat was made for you and you are acknowledging them and the amount the man did not plan to give he will give it because he was acknowledged the bible says in all your ways acknowledge it didn't say talk to him many of us talk to god but we don't acknowledge him hallelujah do you respect the Holy Spirit or do you just believe in him? I respect his ministry. There is an invisible person, brothers and sisters, that stands close to me. Take that person away from me. Two weeks, two weeks, Joshua Selman is dead. People will keep asking, what happened? Maybe he has gone to Babala or maybe the charm was not renewed. Everything has backfired. The presence of the Spirit. I'm not embarrassed. Listen, and let me use this to teach you the secret of friendship. For many of you, everybody you come close to runs away from you. Let me tell you what is wrong now. It's not necessarily demons. It's because your life creates a picture that trivializes the importance of people in your life. The Bible says, he who wants friends must first show himself friendly. If I come to your room and you are frowning because you want to put food and I'm full, it's not even that I want to eat, but the way you are frowning, you are creating a body language that tells me you self now for you. You know, you think I'll come there again. But when I come and you celebrate me, you show genuinely from your heart that if I were to come hundred times, you will still receive me. A time will come when I will make my habitation in your house there. 
That's what happened to the prophet. Remember? The prophet and the Shunammite woman. Every time he passed, when the woman saw him, she, she made table. She studied the things that he liked. She put a table for him because she noticed he was always receiving from God and writing. And the prophet was so amazed. A time came when she even created a room for him. And she was blessed. Do you make room for the spirit? You get up in the morning, you get up in a whole week and you don't care about him. You don't talk to him. And then sometimes we come for koinonia and people just tell a lot of lies. You are the love of my life. Ha, love of your life. Of your life. Not even of your day, of your life. I wouldn't trade you for silver or gold. I was teaching in a ministry and I said, hold on. Do you know what silver and gold is? Silver and gold ha can change your life and your family. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold. You are, you are my heir. As a lady, when you are singing, your husband will just be looking at you. You are my everything. Okay. I now see the reason why you don't cook for me again. You are not faithful. Can you give the Holy Spirit your all? Can you let him know that I have no ministry without you? This is what I tell him in the secret place. I say, Lord, people love me today because you love me. If I reject you, that's the same thing that will happen. My life is a reflection of the honor I give to him. Every time I honor him, I find out that people honor me. Every time I find out that my honor for him is dwindling, I see it happen in my life and I run for a retreat quickly. Hallelujah. When you dishonor the Holy Spirit, your life will reflect that dishonor. Because the glory that keeps you honorable fades away. Hallelujah. Say, I respect the Spirit of God. Yes, I do. I do. I respect Him. I honor Him. I don't just believe in Him. I've had the opportunity to preach in crusades and meetings and conferences and so many meetings. I'm week after week, I'm traveling from end to end of this nation preaching and doing mighty things for the kingdom and in every one of this meeting he has not left me without a witness how could i reject him everyone people send me text messages they say a lot of things joshua selman thank you your messages are changing lives your messages are doing this and that and in my mind i say our message holy spirit they just don't know you know that song um what's it they don't know what you mean to me they don't know what you mean to me listen if someone has volunteered to pay your school fees the day you hear the person is sick with a terminal disease what will you do you will run like your life depends on it your school fees is at stake is that true the holy spirit is the key to my relevance if people ever clap for me it's because of him so as they clap for me i only become an usher and i say holy spirit you are the one who deserves it when i stand and i speak i don't have the ability to be everywhere at the same time but as i speak he's the one who touches people his power he makes his power manifest he's the force behind the messages of this ministry that you hear and it does something to you you cannot explain how could i ignore him how could i ignore him based on what what you see in my life is a reflection of his glory if you ignore the holy spirit you have ignored beauty and glory from your life if you have ignored the holy spirit listen god is speaking to us here we started last week. Many of us have truly ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Koinonia. Many of us have become so busy 
you have become a business mogul now you have partners in abuja and and lagos and abroad and china you are now a great man you are now a five pointer you nail it at will there's no need for the holy spirit again you are now married no need for crying or dropping any prayer request for life partner and there's no reason to seek him again we must get to that point where we create a secret place every time i listen to mike mudok he takes time to honor the holy spirit and he does it generously from the depths of his heart ladies imagine how your husband will feel when you come up and before you preach you take 10 quality minutes and you just shower honor say i'm a queen because he's a king Hi. i'm married because he married me ah! the man is there managing all of the blessings that are coming as soon as you finish that car that you wanted to buy you say um honey what did you even say you wanted listen many i'm um, see it looks like i'm using everyday joke but i'm telling you this is the secret and can i tell you something brothers and sisters the reason why many people are disgraced in public is because they embarrass the holy spirit in secret if you honor him in secret he will never forget you in public many people come on stage the power of god is going to move i came all the way to let you see what god will do and we chorus all sorts of things and get angry at the people you don't have faith open now receive what we are meaning is try you know all sorts of things we lay hands on people twisting their head up and down and they say ah let me just fall this man will kill me brothers and sisters the absence of intimacy is always clear. You can't fake it. Hallelujah. Every time hold this mic, you hear the voice of two people. It's just that it has been woven into one. That's the reason why I can be talking to you outside. You see that? Generally. But once it is time to come into that office, that releases our oneness you will hear another voice hmm. so every time you come to touch me you are touching two people joshua selman is a man but there is the holy spirit standing behind Hiya. when it's time to lay hands on the sick he tells me remember we're in the secret place remember the things that i taught you and so together we lay that hand and while my hand is there's, there's nothing to it but when his hand comes upon your hand, ay, suddenly it, it happens as if you are playing. But then it's as real as anything. Sister, when the Holy Ghost comes upon your life, he amplifies your beauty. There is a level of beauty that people, they know there is something about you. It's not like you are the finest lady everywhere. But they are seeing the beauty that, it, that is interfacing both the physical and the spirit realm. The brother talks to you and he cannot sleep again. He knows he spoke to two people. Hallelujah. And so you greet someone and you tell the person, God bless you. And that word comes with an anointing. Because there is another personality. Say, I am never alone. Say it again, I am never alone. There is a personality that walks with me. That talks with me. See, if you carry this mindset, if you carry this mindset, it will change your life. Oh, I'm never alone. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. For you are with me. When I go for meetings and I see sick people and I see hungry people, hungry for the things of God, and I see stubborn people, there are people that when you see in a meeting, if the Holy Ghost is not with you, start crying. Because you say in Jesus' name, they are not even answering amen. You see, you they are as complicated as whatever. You know you are in for a surprise. It's at that time you can lean on the strength of one who is greater than you. And you know that the Holy Spirit is going to do something in their lives. And someone, sometimes when I see people who come for koinonia, you know, when I follow the, the, the pictures, you see the person who 
came, you know that someone brought him because he's even surprised. He's just standing outside and wondering. And you know this person does not even know why he came. The ability of the Spirit. Have you ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life? This has nothing to do with just ministry. It has to do with every area of your life. So you must respect his ministry. The Holy Ghost is a gentle man. The limit to which you allow him to come into your life is the limit to which he remains. Revelation 3.20. Let's hurry up. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Lord and Father of mercy, thou art welcome. Sing it one more time. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy potent Father. Of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. Listen, it says, Behold, I stand. He was writing to the seven churches, they were already saved. This is not a scripture for sinners. He was writing to the seven churches in Asia Minor, but he said, Behold, I stand. Like a guy comes to propose to a lady. You can't just grab a lady and say, you are my wife. Forget about those things they used to do before. You are my wife and you... No, behold, I come and I stand. I seek intimacy. I seek intimacy. But I will not bump into your life because you have a will. You can choose to reject me and I will go. Are you getting my point now? He said, behold, I stand. As mighty as I am, I am able to change your life. But I stand. He says, and I knock. If any man hear my voice. That means you can be so distracted you do not even hear his voice. But if for any reason you hear my voice. And what? Open the door. What does it mean to open the door? Receive my ministry. Consider it that I am relevant enough. Consider it that without me, you will lose relevance. Without me, there's no spiritual power. Without me, you will struggle. That I am able to bring beauty and glory out of your life, out of your church, out of your fellowship. Consider it that you don't need to relocate. What you need is not to come closer to the people. Jesus was on the mountain, crowds came. In the desert, crowds came. All these excuses we give, there are various ways of explaining the consequences of the absence of koinonia. If my church was in Abuja, people would have come. I know that. If I had money, I would have paid for everything. I would have done beautiful backdrop. It's a lie. It's a lie. There is a presence that draws people. It's called anakazo. It's a compelling power of the spirit. Believe what I'm telling you. No human being can resist it. No matter how stubborn you are. Listen, this is the power that created the heavens and the earth. This is the power that raised Christ from the dead. Oh no, you are too small to resist it. When the ministry of the Holy Spirit is allowed and permitted in a church, in a building, you will see supernatural things that will amaze you. The reason why things look very difficult in churches and ministries is because we have boxed the Holy Spirit. We are embarrassed to tell the people that he is greater than us. We are threatened like two business partners who have begun to fight themselves. 
Yong Gicho wrote a book, The Secret of His Building the 700,000 City in Shio. He wrote that book. I read that book years ago. Holy Spirit, my senior partner. He wrote another book, The Fourth Dimension. There is more to this man you see. I'm not so smart in myself. Come on now. But there is one who can bring beauty and glory out of your life. But he's standing tonight. Listen, he's knocking. You've struggled all your life to be relevant. Man of God, you have struggled. You've told lies with miracles that didn't happen. Because of the absence of his presence. And he's saying there is no need. You can get into the real thing. You have exaggerated the number of your church members because you are embarrassed. You have said all kinds of things. Competing with people is saying there is no need. I can give you something authentic. Sister, you have envied everybody you can see. And the Holy Spirit is saying there is no need. There is beauty and glory. He's called the Spirit of glory. He does something to you. Do you know? that the holy spirit can alter your physical form your physical biological form there is there is there is a depth how many of you have seen a man who gets married to his wife and after four or five years they start looking like one another is that true it even happens to some even from relationship before they get married you say ah oh boy when did you start becoming fair you say that's none of your business oneness participation how many of you have seen pastors of certain ministries look like their ministers and you know they did not try to cook it up something happened it looks like their physical appearance were altered that's what happened to the apostles in acts the book of acts they looked like jesus that's what happened to peter when they saw peter they said no peter your talk betrays you it tells you you have been peter said woman me I've not been with Jesus but he had been so into oneness that even when he wanted to run away he could not he had taken up the language the character let me tell you something about oneness with the spirit let's see my dear when you become one with the Holy Spirit see when a spirit comes to walk with a man the spirit begins to live out its characteristics through that man just like a demon spirit right there was a spirit and it was the posture of that spirit the woman who was bound for 18 years as you when you are praying for people and you know during deliverance sessions you see people acting like animals and acting like snakes because the spirit that oppresses them is trying to manifest its characteristic through their faculties so when you walk with the spirit without struggle that is the real revelation of grace you start seeing the love of god at work in you are you seeing the point now there are times that the holy spirit is grieved about certain things and you start crying physically because you are now you have there is a sharing together he can pour into you his burden hallelujah there are times that the holy ghost is excited so you are praying in tongues we talk about that you are praying in the secret place and the holy spirit sees that you have entered the realm of victory you cannot see it and he starts rejoicing and you start laughing you see now you have not seen it but because you are one he starts letting you share in the victory that's why when a sick body is healed the holy ghost doesn't just appear and say all right stand let me shine congregation i am the one you are the only one who is left that is your own benefit of coming into oneness and so people look and your face on posters and billboards and people say this is the great man and you who because you have wisdom you run back and say spirit of god i'm not foolish we are together it's the biggest secret that i've learned the ministry of the holy spirit let everything in my life give way if you leave me with the holy spirit you have not done anything to me hallelujah a great man of god apostle johnson suleiman i've shared the story here i'll share it again he was praying at a particular point and a great politician came to see him very noble man and so when he came one hour the man of god was still praying two hours he was just in the room three hours the wife got a bit embarrassed 
his daughter got a bit embarrassed and she went to knock and then he opened the door and she entered and she was like daddy this man Abba, attend to him let him go and he looked at her he said my daughter sit down he said you know why this man is here he's here because of my relationship with the holy spirit if i leave my relationship with the holy spirit because of him he will never return again let him wait There are many of us as koinonia is like this when we see certain dignified people we cannot worship in the presence of god because we're embarrassed the one who makes the world clap for you if you run away from him now are you not foolish because they will not clap again the one who has made you a celebrity the one who took you from the wilderness some of us we know where we are coming from hallelujah Look how he's brought beauty and glory out of your life. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. See, my mom sent me a text. My mom sent me a text that blessed me so much. You know what she told me in the text? Um, she's with her husband in Lagos. And they sent me a text. Ah, now. She said, she calls me her father. So she said, my father, make sure you don't buy a car with tinted glasses because police people will disturb you. I hope you take note of that. Bless you or love you or whatever it is. I said, ah, you know what it means for a mother to be so confident that her son is a success. She knows that if I'm not going to go and carry any kind of thing and manage, she's advising me in advance. He said, buy a, don't buy a car with tinted glass. That's a level of trust and confidence. Are you getting my point? Can that be your testimony? Can your father look at you and say, son, I know you will build a house for me. Please, when you are building it, can you make the kitchen a bit larger? And he knows you are not going to say, are you joking? One plot of land? No. Hallelujah. I remember years ago, someone met me. And we're talking about purpose and destiny a good friend of mine and he told me something he said sir I'm more confident about your life than I am about my own life it's not he's not in so he's just saying when I look at you I can guarantee that you will be a success even more than I can guarantee my own success and I told him change it change it there is a revelation you can have John 14 17 John 14 17 everyone say after me Holy Spirit I open up myself say it seriously Holy Spirit I open up myself to the fullness of your ministry to the multifaceted dimensions of your ministry he said even the spirit of truth he said the world cannot do what that means there are people who do not receive the spirit the world cannot receive him because it seeth him not neither knoweth him he said for you but you know him for he dwelleth with you and he shall be in you Alos paracletos the helper when the holy ghost comes into your life he helps you there are things he does not do for you but he assists you let's rush what are the components of true fellowship number one the study of the word the study of the word these are the things you do in that secret place the components that make up true fellowship koinonia with the spirit number one the study of the word if you claim you are in intimacy with the holy spirit and you don't at least have a commitment if even if you don't have a desire you must have a commitment because there are times you may not have a desire but you must have the commitment are you getting my point mm. there are times listen there are times you may not have the desire to study just like there are times you may not have desire to go to work or go to class but you have the commitment praise god what is the relevance of studying the word it gives us an understanding of the ways of God. It gives us an understanding of the ways of God. 
the thoughts of God and the mindset of God. Hmm. We must study the word of God. Contained in this book. Listen. When you listen to my teachings or you read my books for instance. In that book is a communication of my persuasions. Is that true? A book is simply a documentation of persuasions. When I'm persuaded about a philosophy or an idea or a pattern of thought, I document it. So when you study my books, it is possible to begin to think like me even without seeing me because you've explored my material so much. You have submitted yourself to my thinking pattern and that's what leadership is all about. Influencing people to come to a point where they adopt your value system. By using influence and not force. Saddam Hussein and all of these people, Adolf Hitler, they were bad leaders because they caused people to adopt their ideology by using force and cruelty. But look at Jesus. He made his life a template of his ideology so that when we saw it, we would be able to align to it. Are you getting my point? The word of God, the, the Greek word for word there is logos. And, and it's translated thoughts the thoughts of a man printed the thoughts the thinking pattern of a man and philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 says this he said let this mind let this mindset let this ideology let this frame of work this plane of judgment let it be in you which was also in christ and the word christ is christos the spirit of god hallelujah let this mind be in you that means there is a mindset everybody say mindset everybody say programming the word of god does something to you i've shared this if i if i pick come my dear you're a microbiology right biochemistry this is a biochemist for instance watch this some years ago this lady came not knowing anything about biochemistry is that true but there was a curriculum is that true that had been created with the goal of transforming her did they change her body did they injure her they just passed her mind to a system for a period of time and the lecturers looked at her and felt she was qualified to be awarded a degree so the word of god is his school of training you where you interact with his thinking pattern it's not a devotional to make you feel spiritual. The word of God is his thought, his mindset, his ideology. Bless you, my dear. So all the while you've been taught all your life that if you want to be rich, money doesn't grow on trees. Hoard as much as you can hoard. Cheat everybody. Kill if it's possible. But then when you explore the mind of God, the constitution that governs the operation of the kingdom, you will find out that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. Now you are in conflict. There are two mindsets. Are you getting my point now? And when you submit to the word of God, you have permitted. The word let means permit. Permit this mind. Hallelujah. So culturally, you have been taught that when you envy people and fight with people, then you become the big boss. Ah! And then you come and you study that when you come into Christ, there is a new law. There is a new operation of love that works in you. Hallelujah. Everybody say the word of God reveals to me God's ideologies, God's perspective. And then it also reveals to you God's opinion about every matter. There are many opinions, brothers and sisters. The word of God reveals to you God's opinion. I'll be chipping a lot of things to bless us. Come, Shayu. Listen. If I want to marry this lady now, I don't need to go and meet a devil like many of us go around scouting for everybody and they just say, just tell me. Uh -uh. The word of God. It, as a young man, you want to get married. Are you getting my point now? Culturally, you are taught, just go to the village, carry anybody that is available, save Johnny, flog it out in the marriage. Yeah, after all, you are the man. 
eventually you will survive two of you will be tired of fighting and you will now sit down at the round table to discuss how to move your home forward that's a cultural way but according to scripture number one you know that it's God's will for you to marry male and female he created them not two males not two females male and female so it is very clear that you have God did not create a man and a will so if you find out that you are having desire for fish to marry you know that you need to run for miracle service there's something wrong listen listen I'm teaching you how to adopt the mind of God see that if you find out you're having a desire for another man or another lady, you know that you need help. Quick. Quick. Either a retreat or prayer. Anyone. You need it quick. Now watch this. I'm showing you how the mindset of God affects you. Right? When you now go to study the Bible. I'm reading now as a gentleman who wants to settle down. And the Bible says, for this cause shall a man, not a boy. So the first question is what makes a man? I'm showing you how to study and meditate upon the word of God. And he said, shall a man leave his father and mother? That means he must be independent. And there are several things that bring for independent responsibility. Some level of financial security. Some level of mental stability. Are you seeing how I'm building on God's mindset? Leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Not his wife and other concubines. His wife. Right? And they too shall become what? one flesh automatically it tells me that the lady i'm going to marry is not a house girl it's not a kicking machine to beat her up every time a business deal doesn't go well are you getting my point now and then i study from god's word he said children are a heritage from the lord not a product of a man and a woman they are heritage from the lord so i bend to the mindset of God whereas I'm the kind of person that claims I'm a hot guy yo I can never do this all this nonsense that we carry from different cultures and you now come I'm this in our village ladies kneel down and lie down and lick our leg in our village when ladies cook soup is in one plate food is in one plate you now submit to the word of God you either choose to carry your village to your destiny or drop it and pick up the mindset Choose ye this day, the Bible says. That means you can choose. Are you getting my point now? And I say, lady, when you make up your mind and say, no, me, I'm not going to do anything. No, any man that I will give it to him. I'm not. I'm not cooking for any man. I'm this and that. We are women. I'm independent. I have my own rights too. Then you read, wives. You first ask yourself, am I a wife? With this noise I'm making. You see that because if you are not a wife he was not talking to you you can continue doing what you are doing but if you are a wife the bible says submit to your husband in everything everything it did not leave you with a choice this is the law of the kingdom and so you now bring yourself and say well talk god this is how you have made it i subscribe to your government hallelujah so if you are one who is lazy and not given to prayer and you find out the bible says luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint automatically you know that you will submit the goal of studying the word is not to give yourself head knowledge that puffs up every time you study the word find the principles of the kingdom the next thing is submit to their operations bless you man you see the reason why our study of the word does not profit us most of the time because the truth is many of us use devotionals we use books but when we study the word of god we do not submit number one many of us study and argue it when you just study you see something that stings your ego and you just jump it say kite i don't like this this book of colossians let me let me go to something else What is my confidence? What, what assurance do I have that I'm submitting to a mindset that will not disappoint me? He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said, they are thoughts of good. You see the word thoughts again? 
my mindset towards you this mindset that i propose to you like a man comes to meet a lady and says look i will take care of you if you go with me in this journey forget about what you see now we are soaking gary but at the, the end is peace that's what god is doing with his word right he's bringing you a proposal and he's saying look 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 how your mindset has made your life the quality of your life so far is a product of your ideologies can you bend and let me propose this mindset i know this the thoughts that i think towards you they are thoughts that will bring you good thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end hallelujah everybody say the study of the word when you study the word you understand the ways of god and when you understand the ways of god you will easily be able to detect error are you getting my point so when you see an operation that looks like god but does not line up with the value system and the ideologies of the kingdom although it looks spiritual you can judge it by the authority of the word are you getting my point now Number two, ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come in open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words be part. I never study my Bible as if i'm doing a bible quiz or competition many of us believe in our minds we are used to competitions so when you start studying you now come and meet your friend and say i finished colossians today i was just going through it i even started Ephesians. how has it changed your life who cares who cares whether you read the book no listen don't be under pressure it is not spirituality to say i finished my bible 20 times if we cannot see the fruit in your life it's like saying, I know Jonathan. Every day you are telling us you know Jonathan. And we are still the same level. We say, oh God, you are lying somewhere. You are lying somewhere. Because we know the way even Jonathan's houseboy is. You are shouting every time. Jonathan is my, my, my father's brother. If not because of situation, I would have grown in his house. You are telling at a point in time. We we'll know that you are telling a lie. That's how it is. So every time if you speak, I'm a word addict. I'm studying the word. Yet we are not seeing your life. You are the first to get angry. You are the first to slap people. You are the first to insult people. You are the first to use words that are not cultured by the spirit. We know you have not been with God. There is an absence of koinonia. Listen. There are parameters that can measure if the word of God is growing in you. The measure of the word of God in you is the measure of the lordship of Christ in your life. Are you getting my point? He said, my little children in whom I travel until Christ be formed. So I see the degree to which you have submitted to the word of God. That is the degree to which Jesus has become Lord in your life experientially. Hallelujah. Take your time and study the word of God. Listen, you must be strategic about your studying the word of God. Every day we have devotionals to help us here. But you don't have all the time to study the word of God for eight hours every day. That's not how to grow. That's a religious way. There are many of us that put ourselves under unnecessary pressure. I don't study the word of God like that. Every day I look at, there are times I get up in the morning, there's no time for anything. I have so much activities. But I dedicate periodic times when I stay with the word of God intentionally for the purpose of discovering the gems and the treasure in the world and applying it in my life. How have you been studying your word? So that you can quote. Some of us even have some Bible memory aids that help us. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who threatened me. Uh, this and that and that. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Jeremiah chapter this and that. Da, 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 da. And people say, whoa, whoa, your life is not changing. You are quoting dangerous scriptural principles.
principles that have changed the lives of ancient men but because this thing was not done for the purpose of intimacy it was simply done to find relevance outside of the spirit i'm not against bible recitation if you stay with a man so much you should be able to know his words your word have i hidden in my heart the bible says that i may not sin against you how shall a young man keep his way pure not by trying to run away from iniquity he said but by meditating by meditating by meditating so my value systems change hallelujah number two the components that make for true intimacy true fellowship number two is a life of praise and worship praise and worship what does praise and worship do it creates the atmosphere for the spirit of god to manifest himself and to commune with you the holy ghost does not show up everywhere his manifest presence his omnipresence the ability to be everywhere is there where can i hide from your presence the psalm says but his manifest his revealed presence that he reveals himself for the purpose of communion it doesn't happen everywhere look at me have you seen two people in a relationship when it's evening and they want to really sit down and talk does the guy just look and tell the lady to sit down and then him too he just sits down in the middle of a junction that was your day what do you think the lady would do ah, the lady will say this is a picture of many things to come i'm plotting this graph and it's not heading up to your tent where you israel you see that there is always a preparation because this guy loves this lady or he's trying to win her heart he would dress the place he will arrange it if she likes red flowers somebody that you know has no business with red will go out of his way buy red buy anything that looks like red it may be even the ox blood to him is red at least he tried he will bring it and arrange something and says i did this for you i prepared this place this is your own place sit down many of us do not know that there is a geography where god meets with men you can set up an altar a meeting place solomon dedicated a place in the temple and he said oh lord let this be your resting place wherever people are if they turn to jerusalem and pray hearken to them hallelujah you can make your house or your room an altar there are people here in this church building you see them in the night they come some of them pray there are some of us our rooms there are some of us certain places some toilets some garages it doesn't matter where people just lock themselves somewhere and just say lord i have come to fellowship and you just sing songs of worship i love you lord and i lift my hands that's fellowship koinonia to worship you and you're luring him with your worship because he cannot resist worship oh my soul rejoice take joy my king and your phone is ringing and you leave it there is the guy that says you should send your bank account and you leave it there in what you hear the devil is saying, keep singing. You will finish singing and eat your fingers. Let it be a sweet. And he's watching. He's watching. He's seeing the way other things do not mean nothing in his presence. Priority. Sister, you are just singing, I love you, Lord. And Prince Charming is flashing. Ha! Your body. Abel wants to worship. Cain is saying, you better call now that things are working for you. You have been praying and submitting prayer requests. This guy is already being nice now. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Anything you love above the secret place is an idol. I don't care what it is. Abraham took his son son i love you but before you came i was in love with another and not your presence will kill that love he dropped that boy and lifted the knife 
the reason why many of us may never encounter certain dimensions of glorious things is because God tested you with that thing and his presence and you gave up his presence for it. It's the same thing as trading your birthright for a pot of soup. Soup that you eat and three hours later you are hungry. Hallelujah. When I'm spending time with God, let the whole world catch fire. Let it catch fire. It's amazing how the devil can create so much distractions. There are some of us who, when we come to the presence of God, that's the time to ping. You just see a lady's hair. Say, that's the hair I've been talking to you about. Let me snap it quickly. And you become a commentator on WhatsApp and what they call it, all those things. And the devil knows when to disturb you. He waits until it's time for the presence. It's time for you to fellowship with the spirit. He now brings up all sorts of things. Psalm 100 verse 2 says, Come before him with singing. That is the protocol of his presence. Sing to the spirit. Many of you don't sing. Every man that moves in the anointing is a man of worship. It's a secret of the anointing. That's why you see us take our time. That's why you see these people standing. You don't want to imagine the sacrifice that they spend. I'm on stage and they're on stage with me, even if it's for 10 hours. And the keyboard is playing. Why? Because he's worshipping. We are creating the atmosphere. He said, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp. The prophet knew this. And so he said, bring me a mystery. I need, I cannot talk. I need to bring, because the Holy Spirit was not resident in them. He would come. And he said, there is a technology in the spirit that invokes his presence. That's what we do during our traditional festivals. You see some people who just tie some things around. And they come and they are dancing and singing for hours like fools. And when the spirit they are calling finally arrives, you will know it has arrived. Confusion, accidents, all sorts of things. Registering his presence. I'm here. You ask for it. In India, many of you have watched them. They blow flutes and they sing and those serpents begin to come out. And people come to watch. Music is a law of spiritual operation. It's not just a principle. That's why when you listen to all these classical music, orchestras, you know, and, and all this contemporary worship, they do something to your spirit. I have a bad voice so what you are not presenting a special number it's called the secret place even if you are not called into the ministry of worship god is not complaining he loves it the way it is sing any song compose your own song hallelujah have you seen a lady in love and the guy said i want to sing for you because his friend said that's what i did and the guy is not a good musician he doesn't even know that the key he's taking is not even the key of the right song. He's mixing words. He's just singing all sorts of songs. And because the lady loves, she's saying, wow, you mean you learned this song today? And the guy is saying, you cannot imagine the days of rehearsal. And he's making all sorts of mistakes. Listen, I'm showing you something about some of you. It has happened to you. That's why you are laughing. You are seeing how this guy is doing his best. He's even closing his eyes. He's communicating his passion. On a very good day, you'd have gotten up to work, but you appreciate that's how the Holy Ghost is. He's not complaining. He's not complaining. We can tell you here that your voice is not good, but when you're in the sea, go off key, go up, go down, sing bass, sing anything. It's you and him. It's called koinonia. There are not many people invited. He, not them that dwell in the secret. The secret place is not a congregation. It's a place where you meet. It's a love affair. It's an intercourse. It's called koinonia. Dance with me. Remember our song? Lover of my soul To the song of all songs this is to the Holy Spirit. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul? To the song of all songs. Let's sing one more time. I'm making you fall in love with him. 
Listen, listen, listen. And while you are singing this song, suddenly his Shekinah fills the room. You know he's in that place. I mean, your whole body is shaking. This guy is responding. Your, your love song is attracting him. And you're just shaking. And you're wondering. Scriptures are just coming in your mind. And as that is happening, God is talking to people. Bless him. Bless her. Favor him. All that is happening in the secret place. There are sicknesses and challenges. There are burdens that you have and you take to the secret place and you're saying, oh Lord, about this CGPA, I just saw my CGPA, five carryovers and he gives you a song to sing for him because when you sing, it brings him and that song begins to comfort you. Whereas you were crying about something, after meeting with him, you wipe your tears and you get up and walk like a king. You have a challenge in your life you're struggling with a habit you're struggling with something and you go to his presence and you begin to sing and say lord something else is taking your place in my life and i'm reporting to you i'm a faithful bride i'm reporting to you that pornography wants to steal your place in my life i'm reporting to you that pride in ministry is taking your place and as a jealous god like a man who is fighting for his bride he will come and say let me see that devil that stands would you dance with me, oh, love of my soul, to the song of all songs? Listen, there is not... There are people when you tell secrets about your life, you are in trouble. It's as you would have just gone to NTA and announced to the whole world because they will tell everybody they are just don't tell anybody. The next person will tell Sister B, say, I did I don't know you. If anything happens, I've never met you. But the Holy Ghost is the only one who can listen to everything about you and still not complain. I don't know one man who has been with his wife and they've never had reason. The Holy Spirit will never quarrel you. You come with your weaknesses broken. You come with all sorts of things. When men reject you, when that guy says you're good for nothing, you refuse to sleep with me, go. You come coming back to the secret place. That's the place of strength. Men of God who do not have the secret place, when persecution starts, and now, see, the, the apostolic ministry comes with heavy persecution. If you are not a man of the secret place, you will never last men will question the source of your anointing men will question the reason why crowds are gathered like this men will question all kinds of things when men shout and people oh you think it's everybody that sends me nice text messages i wish so i wish so when i get all those things i look forward to my hour of prayer and i just go into his presence and i lie down flat the one who can love me the way i am men will tell you you are looking too fat you are looking too slim the holy spirit says you are okay just stay there you are okay i don't need any shedding weight i don't need your hair is not rough you are okay come on now ladies you have given your heart to a man of inferior value why not come to this spirit you gave your whole life to a man you were sure that you are not the only one in his life but this is one who has pledged commitment with you forever You never know what true love is until you meet the holy spirit when you meet the holy spirit you start searching for a man that can give you the same effect in your secret place and if you don't find it you don't say yes to him so when one brother comes because he likes you he now wears suit and comes for koinonia when he's talking to you you are looking for that spiritual effect that cannot be faked and you say my brother you talk like you're a christian but i don't see that signature meaning you are not a man of the secret place hallelujah worship do you do you spend time i'm telling you when i'm in the presence of god I'm not Apostle Joshua Selman. I throw away all of those things and I roll before him and I cry like a baby. And this is how I prepare for meetings. 
brothers and sisters this is how i prepare for meetings i talk to the lord and i say lord friday is miracle service and so many people are coming right now and i cannot help them i'm, I'm but a young man there are so many expectations on me and i hear the spirit of god telling me don't worry we'll go together we'll do this that's why when i sit down in my mind i'm saying okay holy spirit worship team is now ministering we're ready to go and i can just feel him saying go 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 and do it prove to the people that you are not alone ah! and as he left me not once many guys will run away from you when the going gets tough is that true i remember a guy who was making noise about a lady i will marry her he found out that she had a problem with bedwetting and it was a demonic problem the lady was a very responsible and godly lady it's just that it had been there for a while when he found out ah the brother said you know guys i'm busy oh, please don't disturb me i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy and the day this lady came and she cried to me and it pained me because i know the brother i said such a virtuous lady so you are already trying to you've not gotten married but there is something about her life you are not proud of and you are now running away that's the same thing you will do when you get married but the holy ghost he will give you a garment you want stain it outside when you come you see him holding soap already waiting for you while you are trying to explain he says there's no need that you came into my presence is a sign that you are not a rebel to the song of all song can we sing this song just once as i prepare to round up would you dance with me Just the voices, just one more time, from the depths of your heart. Would you dance with me, your lover of my soul, to the song of all songs? The third component of intimacy with the Holy Ghost is prayer. The first is the study of the word. The second is the ministry of heartfelt praise and worship. God blesses you by a keyboard. God blesses you by a guitar. Are you getting my point? Even if it's only one key, learn it. CFG and the minor. Just sit down and lie down. That's all you know. You are not learning it to sing somewhere. One day people will come and listen to you. I remember when years ago when i used to be we were three myself steve strings and andy now called ambassage is a gospel musician three of us were roommates then in Danfodio, and we would worship goodness i was like a madman sometimes i would lie down and they used to keep the keyboard of winners campus fellowship then then steve was the vice president of winners campus fellowship so they used to keep the equipment in our room praise god and i'll just get on the keyboard and steve will just take the guitar and you know his fingers those those anointed fingers goodness and steve will begin to play and while we're just playing the glory of god one night something happened i'll never forget myself andy and steve we were just singing and worshiping for hours and then we held three of our hands and brothers and sisters i tell you the truth we could not lift our hands god came into that room when you see a man of the secret he's ever looking young it's not about eating well he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither you see a man of 60 years 65 years looking as if there is a supernatural ability working because there truly is if it's a life-giving spirit and you stay with a life-giving spirit for so long something happens to you do you believe me absolutely prayers especially praying in the spirit 
praying in the spirit is a mystery that initiates and sustains true communion many of us come from circles where the subject of praying in tongues has been challenged i came from an orthodox background and I understand what it means. I went to a, a seminary and I, I have touched different orthodox circles. So I understand the way Pentecostals taught it was a terrible way. Nobody would... They, 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 and, and then all of the rascality and madness that happened around praying in tongues made it look as though when the Holy Spirit came upon people, he made them idiots. They did not teach us that tongues was a mystery it was a language of heaven that was supposed to enforce communion it's a secret code of communication we were not taught like that i'll never forget the day they were going to pray for us to be filled with the holy ghost i didn't understand anything the man was teaching i was feeling like sleeping the only thing i know is he called two people and he told one to run on one leg and the other one ran on two legs and he said that's it praying in understanding tongues that's all i remember and then we sang one song hallelujah jehovah reigns hallelujah jehovah reigns hallelujah jehovah reigns Give him the glory that he deserves. That's all. And then we got filled with the Holy Ghost. When I started praying in tongues, I was wondering. I said, ah, oh God, I hope I'm not just joining everybody and lying. Maybe they received the real thing. Because some people were falling me. I didn't fall. Nothing happened. But I was praying at least. I doubted that thing for days. But I began to see transformation in my life. In JS2, I was made the timekeeper of the whole school. There was a grace in my life that I could not explain. JS2, very small boy, quarter to five, every day the Holy Ghost would wake me, physically. Someone would tap me, quarter to five, quarter to five. We had a matron called Miss Rhoda, wonderful woman. She's gone to be with the Lord now. One day, when I woke up, five on the dot, I would ring the bell. She called me and laid hands. She said, you're an exceptional person. I would study just once i'm serious and never have to read again once it was supernatural then we started one one prayer evening meeting called operation catacruz <laughs> we were tired of the nonsense that was happening around so we myself and five guys we were like the apostles of the school five of us very small we did wonderful things wonderful things one of them was a sickler he was like our peter and all through that time that that devil of infirmity left oh we did mighty things i prayed for people who were stammerers and all of a sudden the stammer the stammering will leave i for us it was not a big deal because nobody taught us that this thing was great you need honorarium you're a great man no we just did our thing and then at a point they now started bringing a lot of priests and they were teaching they brought a lot of people they thought and we knew it was us they were talking to and then eventually we threw away all these things of god it was something in my spirit and when we threw away all those things it was in less than two months our leader died i was with him the final moment in the hospital his ribs were swollen that sickness came back what he was delivered from they were born triplets one died there's only one who is alive now and i looked at him in the hospital I told him don't worry you'll be fine little did i know that that would be the last time because we ignored the ministry of the holy spirit i cried one day many years when i realized that that was the reason we left him we actually asked him to walk out of our lives take your place take your place i will never ask you to walk out of my life take your place take your place that gentleman died most of the great prayer warriors who were doing great things i tell you many of them today some of them are drunkards some of them are whatever because they preach to us that forget the, you know the holy spirit blah 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 Some of you right now, you are at the verge of throwing away. The only thing you have not thrown is praying in tongues. You've thrown every other thing. 
prayers prayer opens us up to sensitivity it opens us up through sensitivity sorry to the promptings and the impulses of the spirit the ministry of prayer opens us up makes us sensitive you can get more of that on my teaching spiritual perception opens your organs of interacting with spiritual things and then you begin to move in certain operations of the spirit the word of knowledge the knowing of the spirit the witness of the spirit all of these things are activated in the place of prayer prayer empowers us to hear his voice the bible says while they prayed while they prayed the holy ghost spoke to them not while they sat down while they prayed the holy ghost spoke to them he said separate me paul and barnabas while they prayed let's hurry up number four corporate fellowship with the brethren components that bring intimacy or components of true fellowship corporate fellowship with the brethren very important acts chapter 13 verse 2 the bible says while they prayed and fasted they prayed they sang the holy ghost said unto them not unto one man let me tell you the importance of corporate fellowship like this it gives you the opportunity to partake of the dealings of the spirit in the life of others are you getting my point now so levels that your personal intimacy with the holy spirit has not brought you when you come together is like a corporate receiving hallelujah psalms 133 verse 1 says behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity and he begins to describe it he says it's like the oil that comes upon the head of aaron down to his bird down to his cat even to his garment he said for there god has commanded the blessing behold how good and pleasant it is the bible says acts chapter 2 verse 1 it says now when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all gathered together in one accord the holy ghost never came until they were together there is the mystery of corporate fellowship not just emptying sitting down and occupying empty pews no fellowship do you know that you can be together as a congregation but not have fellowship because there's bitterness there's anger there's competition there's party spirit seditions and all kinds of things but when you come that's why one of our core value the first of our core value as a ministry is love love not power not anointing not intimacy love love the bond of perfectness there is only fellowship when there is true love when two people are fighting the first thing that disappears is laughter laughter absence of laughter is a sign that something is wrong corporate fellowship what does it do it opens us to other dimensions of his dealings it creates oneness in the body the bible says in acts chapter in, in ephesians chapter 4 it says till we all come to the unity of the faith the unity of the faith the same understanding as a body finally what are the rewards of true fellowship let me round up with this i have to hurry up remember our topic is koinonia the ancient secret ancient secrets to power so what is the reward what is the reward what is the reward huh. be sensitive now because i sense the power of the holy spirit i'm telling you every time i just begin to talk about the holy spirit it's like it's like a magnet that you cannot resist although our time is fast spent but somebody must receive something tonight in the name of jesus christ what are the rewards of fellowship with the holy spirit i'll give you just three of them number one the reward the child the proceed of that intercourse between you and the spirit the same way when a man meets his wife something leaves that man to his wife and over time a child is born that child is the consummation of their oneness is that true when you stay with the holy spirit when koinonia is at work in your life certain things must happen number one 
authentic spiritual power authentic spiritual power I said authentic because there are all kinds of things all kinds of things right now authentic spiritual power authentic spiritual power the anointing for miracles the anointing for signs and wonders they are a product of intimacy brothers and sisters listen to me if you've been called into the apostolic ministry or prophetic ministry or teaching or pastoral any of the fivefold ministry you need the anointing for supernatural miracles signs and wonders men can forget what you say but they will never forget the impact of your meeting upon their lives many pastors are struggling they keep speaking but there is no grace there is no anointing there is no authentic anointing i'm not talking about laying hands on people that your words they do something to the physical bodies of those listening they do something to their minds the words do something the bible says and the lord walking with them confirming the words he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me he has smeared me with oil where did that happen in the in the secret place while i was fellowshipping with the holy ghost a deposit of his ability rubbed off on me and i come out of the secret place with that ability the bible says the spirit drove jesus to the wilderness and he was there he was there for how long now 40 days and at the end of it the bible says he returned with the in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit you want to see authentic power you want to see the anointing of the spirit brothers and sisters i believe in impartation from men of god but the holy spirit is the greatest custodian of the anointing you stay with him you have the anointing without measure dimensions of his anointing comes upon your life brothers and sisters listen it has nothing i don't care how weak you are right now if you stay with the holy ghost man woman boy girl including the little ones you will contact something that is tangible the world may criticize you but they cannot deny what is at work in your life you are the power in me you are the fire at work when you see mighty works there is an anointing you are my ever-present helper holy spirit and he anoints you so an ordinary man brothers and sisters an ordinary timid joshua selman when his anointing comes upon you look at samson he was a man who was weak but when the anointing came upon him he did mighty things and men will look at you they will see small you but there is big jesus there is big holy spirit so men will invite you for meetings thousands of people and when you walk through and see those wheelchairs and those blind eyes you know that it's not just about talking nonsense it's either it is there or not and you stretch your hands and you speak and say in the name of the lord jesus blind eyes open and you are hearing people shouting i can see and you are flattered yourself because you know that you are not the custodian of this this is what happens in koinonia he blesses us with his presence and so we can command devils to go and they must leave and we can command sicknesses to go and we can speak to blood conditions and change them and we can speak to situations and alter destinies a dear lady of ours wrote her exams and her wayek and, and when the results came out you know she was so excited sent me a text yesterday i met with her briefly today and this lady just nailed it on point i mean i looked i said goodness this is great the holy ghost can take a weak person mary said how shall these things be oh lord how will i have an international ministry as weak as i am how can this guitar produce an international ministry oh lord is it true that one day i will stand before the nations and god is saying do not underestimate the power of the anointing upon the life of a man they will pay you they will lodge you in a hotel 
hands and you are there wondering oh god no there is this treasure you are an earthen vessel but there is a treasure the only way to take advantage of it is to carry you along because it's in you same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me oh i'm anointed say i'm anointed your love that rescued the earth lives in me listen brothers and sisters it's on the strength of the secret place that we can tell you you will never go back the same you see that that is what is responsible many of you came here probably for the first time you just said let's come and see what happened and you came and you encountered the anointing of the spirit if you are a preacher in this place stop doing ministry without the anointing you're going to fight everybody around you because of anger you will hate everybody around you because of competition and intimidation many preachers are angry with anointed people today because they they are unwilling to subscribe to the terms of authentic power it happens once in a while it just happens by magic and then when they see this happen in the lives of people especially when the person is a young man because it's not an issue of age whoever can pay that price the power that truly brings revival and transformation brothers and sisters is one thing to gather people but it's another thing for their lives to be changed there are many churches that the lives of the members are not being changed can i tell you the truth I know that crowd is not an ultimate basis to measure growth and impact but let me tell you sincerely when people are being changed they will come again and again and camp there that this guy was an armed robber he was a bad person an occultist all of a sudden he comes to koinonia for three or four weeks there are so many people especially many of the leaders and the workers today by the grace of God, I know how these people were when they came. Some of them were cultists. Some of them were all sorts of people. But the power of the Spirit. As a minister, when people come to your congregation, you don't screen them and throw the bad ones. There are no bad eggs in the house of God. Because his anointing can change any man. So a man comes with stubborn. They say, we have tried and tried. And he said, no, not when the authentic power of God comes. You can handle any congregation. As a pastor, they can post you anywhere and it does not matter. They post you to a church of 10 members in one year. It's an avalanche because of the anointing. He said, it shall come to pass. Isaiah 10, 27. He says, the burden shall be taken from off your neck and the yoke from your shoulders and it shall be destroyed not because you went to school not because you can speak english because of the anointing there's too much talk in the body of christ because there is no anointing charles and francis hunter of blessed memory wrote a book they said that one miracle is worth a thousand words how true authentic anointing Acts chapter 19, 11 and 12, the Bible says, and God wrought special miracles. God wrought special miracles. Not just ordinary miracles. Brothers and sisters, if you walk in extraordinary miracles, the only thing you will go through that is bad is criticism. But the hand of God is like a signature and you write upon the lives of men, he is alive. That's why we will continue doing what we are doing. That's why anyone who comes here will truly be blessed. And we say it with absolute certainty. Not on the strength of ourselves. The Bible says we are not sufficient in ourselves. Our sufficiency is of God. Who has made us able ministers of the New Testament. Not of the letters because the letter kills. But the spirit gives life. Number two. The second reward of koinonia is multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. What does multiplied grace bring in your life? Ease of operation. Write it down. I know many struggling ministers. They are doing well, but you know that this, this, they are doing ministry as if it's a, it's a cross to kill them. No, sir. No, sir. 
Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If that yoke is killing you, then it's not from God. Hallelujah. Ease of operation in your ministry. Ease of operation in your job. There are many people who struggle just for little promotion. You have to struggle and bribe and pass. No, 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 no. When there is multiplied grace, the Bible says great grace was upon them. Great grace. Acts chapter 4 verse 31 to 33. When they prayed, the building shook and the Bible says they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Okay, so just write it. We may not run go there because of time. Our time is up. Number three, the last one, and this is the most important I want you to carry tonight, is that the products, the benefits, the reward of your intimacy with the Holy Spirit is the release of your gifts, your talents, and your abilities. Please never forget this. This applies to every one of us now. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. You can be gifted and it can be killing you. But when your gift is anointed. Ha! Huh? Your gifts and abilities become anointed. What does it mean to be anointed? It means it is activated and empowered to produce supernatural results. So your singing ministry, you have great gifts. But when he anoints that gift, all of a sudden, your keyboard that you are playing, suddenly you see wheelchairs standing up just because mike is playing that's a gift that has been anointed someone will come up here and just be reciting a poem or be dancing you may belong to a rap group or a dancing ministry and you are dancing and sick bodies are healed that's an ability that has been anointed many of us are gifted and we've spoken about gifts but many of us our gifts are not anointed this is my beloved son he has always been there. But now, whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. Listen. Stop trying to draw talents or draw resources. Forget about those things. Concentrate on the presence of God. When your gifts are anointed, people will come. When they come, they will come together with their own gifts and their own anointings. Listen. I never for once, by the grace of God Almighty, look at all the brilliant people. Let me tell you, I believe that this ministry has one of the best, excellent, and most effective workforce. And I say this sincerely from the depth of my heart. Hallelujah. From the ushers, the worship team, there is excellence at our level. The prayer department, men who are committed, you think they are just. I never, how would I have known them? Are you getting my point? I did not need to worry. When you stay in the secret place and your gift becomes anointed, distant shores and the islands will see your life as it right. Yes, you are a billionaire CEO, but until your gift is anointed, you will sit down there. Stay in the secret place. Let your gift, let your business acumen be anointed and you will do wonders. Sister, you're, you have God blessed you with beauty, but it's not anointed. That's why it is trivialized. You stay in the secret place and let it be anointed. The rod of Moses was a great rod, but it was not anointed. When he dropped it in the presence of God, the place of intimacy, God said, now pick up that rod. It's no longer an ordinary rod. He said, with this rod, you will do signs and wonders. Your academics is great, but it has not brought you any blessings because it is not yet anointed. Stop looking for resources. When you draw people, they will come into your life with their resources and abilities. When you contend for an anointing that can solve a millionaire's problem, he will come with his millions. There are many people who try to sit down and learn all kinds of gimmicks to raise money and run ministry. How much money can you raise to run ministry? Stay in the secret place. 
and while you are in the secret place you will bless a man who will come with millions and say it's a privilege to so ah ask and i'll give the nations to you oh lord that's the cry of my heart distant shores and the islands will see listen i'm telling you this will come when god gives us the vision to start building and by the grace of God, when this ministry has entered the next season, our job is to remain in the secret place. It will start attracting all sorts of people. They will come from different countries. You watch and see. They will sponsor the TV satellites and the rest. It's not in my ambition for once to think of how it will be done. Your job is have the potentials. Footballers, brothers and sisters, footballers that cannot speak English, receive millions of dollars per week because of their gift they never knew that you need a coach they don't even know adidas or puma all they know is that they mastered the art of playing with that ball and people rush and say please endorse our product during olympic one little girl 15 years or thereabout america's sweetheart little black girl who was doing exceptional things this lady could you know do all of those cartwheel and all, all of those gymnastics and she did it so well by the next day that lady was on the face of many privileges in america she doesn't know anything about marketing but the gift of a man when anointed it will call the relevant people right now we don't have people who are professionals and experts in 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 launching satellites and doing this don't worry when you stay in the secret place they will come one day they will come i have seen in my visions white men and people there was a time seven partners multi-billionaires i've seen it many times in my visions and they'll come and say god has instructed us that you and your ministry you are part of our kingdom commitments for life stay in the secret place stop looking for houses and cars don't insult yourself you're not that cheap what you have is valuable a day will come they will fly you in the private jets but you are not carried away remember it's you and the holy ghost in that plane you say holy spirit you promised me and you have kept your promise it doesn't fail the key to commanding uncommon favor is when your gifts are anointed they will draw people from all over. God is speaking to someone here. We're rounding up. Listen, brothers and sisters. The key to timeless relevance. Relevance, regardless of geography or dispensation. Is when you have gifts that are anointed. They will draw nations. They will draw nations. Not people, nations. The Bible says you shall call on one person and nations will answer say i'm gifted and tonight my gift will be anointed there are many people here tonight is the last time you will be at this level take seriously what i'm saying when god anoints your singing ministry you see if god does not anoint you the other way is to start begging everybody please i have an album will you buy it please i have this sponsor me sam help me when you are going for ministration, carry me along. You see people passing all kinds of complimentary cards. I'm an anointed man. Something happened in my meeting. 20 people fell under the anointing. Invite me. That is gift that is not anointed. Because when you are anointed, when you are anointed, people will love you. He said because of the ointment, so do the virgins love you. It's, I know he was talking about relationship, but it's a principle. Gentiles will not come to you. They will come to your light. They can criticize you but they will never be able to resist you you will see i i keep sharing it did you know that people bless my mother today people call this woman of god and bless her and sow seeds and do all kinds of things and that is only the beginning the secret of relevance you will never go out of fashion when you stay in the secret place that's why i say the greatest publicity 
men of God who are always outside running around trying to scratch for ministry ministry and uh, what do they call it a connection and ministry no 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 stay in the secret place Jesus was in the manger the white men carried their gifts they started tracing the stars the wise men they were tracing it where is this one who was born he was there lying down they took gold frankincense man these were great men they took it angels were announcing him he was there quietly remain in the secret place and you will see that people are talking about you everywhere from criticism somebody will say why are they criticizing this person let me find out and then he hears a message and say i know why they are criticizing you now while you're there quiet if you are talking and advertising yourself your grace is not anointed let her walk speak for her at the gates listen the secret to entering rest is that the anointing comes upon your gift you will rest indeed the bible says let us therefore labor this is not about struggle brothers and sisters please hear me the anointing of the holy spirit the fruit great grace your gift your ability your talent it brings rest and establishment it eliminates the need for envy and competition when your gifts are anointed truly you will find no reason for envy and competition when i hear that men of god this one is trying to throw this one this one is trying to throw this i just turn to god and i say lord i'm grateful thank you for all Da, 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 da. I can't remember the song Juanita Bynum Precious memories That you left with us I just want to thank you Lord I appreciate you for your love Finally have come this far Beautiful song No competition brothers and sisters You become too exceptional You insult yourself by creating competition There is no reason I always wondered why Benny Hinn loved every man of God I found out later on There was no reason for competition Who is now going to compete with him Based on what? Killing the sick or the anointing You only compete when your gifts are not anointed So you are any man of God that comes into a place You are threatened and that's what is creating a lot of hatred in the body of Christ. There are men of God when they hear the names of other men of God. There are men of God when they hear the name of Joshua Selman. It's as if they've had the name of a devil. It's not because they hate me. The solution is not to criticize me. The solution is to rise to the place of the anointing. Every time your gift is anointed, you will love everyone around you. It's God speaking to someone. There are some of you who are pastors of different ministries. Some of you fellowships, groups, churches. I want to speak to you. Never find yourself in competition and envy. Let the grace upon people challenge you. But not to cause you to resent people. And you look forward. I can only imagine how many people have been looking forward to hearing scandal about me. So that they will justify that everything they have said is true. There is a hand that lifted me. It will uphold me till the end And I will not be afraid There's no need for competition When your grace is anointed, brothers and sisters When you criticize an anointed man Those you are talking to will go and find out why you are angry Because they will say, why is this thing personal to you? <laughs> and then you end up publicizing the person again because the Lord is my light and he's the light of my life and I will not be afraid it brings you finally still point three just sub points under point three to a place of kingdom influence so that you can win souls and transform lives I told you that you need the influence of the kingdom in your life never trivialize the place of kingdom influence you need the influence of the kingdom when your sphere is enlarged you need it so that you will be able to speak the counsel of god to nations and they will go in that direction 
if Michael Jackson ever said Jesus is Lord there would be more salvations than many crusade meetings put together because of the power of influence and so God anoints our gifts and lifts us up to that position where we can command the influence of the kingdom everybody stand up please we have just a few minutes we've taken so much time please stand up I just want to pray one prayer for you hallelujah I know our time is fast spent please relax and receive that which I want to speak over your life Shiva brothers and sisters the secret place is the answer to your cry is the secret the ancient secret of power the ancient secret of relevance timeless relevance it will bring you prosperity it will make you known it will make you increase i like you to pray in one minute and say holy spirit i need you afresh in my life come and anoint my grace come and anoint my grace come and anoint my grace i'm tired of struggling there is a realm of ease come and anoint my grace anoint my music ministry anoint my business take me to the place of intimacy please pray pray anoint my catering anoint my business anoint my leadership institute anoint my job i'm tired of a barren life spirit of the living god anoint me afresh take me back to the place of the secret let me give me time time for spiritual things i cry koinonia i cry koinonia the birthplace of the anointing the birthplace for relevance hallelujah please lift your hands i want to pray for you we're out of time i'm going to ask the lord to anoint our gifts and graces listen it's not a careless prayer something will happen to some of you your gifts will start being announced some of you your ministries your businesses some of you your families there are so many things you have i'm going to begin to pray lift your hands thank you jesus as i begin to pray the holy ghost will begin to move in mighty ways in this place and there will be baptisms just in one or two minutes and then we'll rise lift your hands father right now in the name of jesus christ i pray spirit of the living god let there be an anointing of gifts let there be an anointing of abilities as i count three i want you to just shout that name jesus and there will be a baptism goodness the power of god is everywhere one two three take it now 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 god is anointing gifts anointing gifts anointing gifts anointing gifts go ahead be praying in the spirit the anointing of the spirit falling upon gifts anointing gifts we're out of time just one minute or two minutes hallelujah we're going to shout again listen i always see this i'm seeing the fire of the holy ghost like cloven tongues and it's going to rest mightily on many people ideas gifts entrepreneurial graces lots of things will fall hallelujah praise god at the count of three again we're going to shout this one will be mighty i see tongues god wants to anoint gifts you will not be ordinary from tonight there are ministries that will be anointed there are businesses that will be anointed lift your hands thank you jesus christ my god let this fire fall one two three take it now 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 I anoint your grace. I anoint your gift. Let it speak. Let it speak. I anoint your business. I anoint your ministry. Be empowered. Receive it. 
receive it that fire upon your gift that fire upon your potential that fire upon your ministry that fire for the secret place take it now take it now take it now like a mighty tornado is coming upon you take it now take it now entrepreneurial grace take it now business acumen academic intelligence the anointing for signs wonders miracles the demonstration of the kingdom teaching graces apostolic graces prophetic graces I anoint your grace I anoint your gift I command it to speak I bring it out of the box you are one with the Holy Ghost you are one with the Holy Ghost when you talk you are talking in partnership when you pray you are praying in partnership as you walk you are walking in partnership as you do business you are doing business in partnership as you study you are studying in partnership as you are on your job you are on your job in partnership hallelujah I prophesy upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ everything that attempts to kill intimacy with the Holy Spirit in your life I command the restoration tonight in the name of Jesus straight up God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage lift your hands everybody hey! delay the Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities believe it or not wickedness is real it has tied down many of us even maritally especially our families hallelujah you're going to shout that name Jesus one more time and as you shout that name, anyone under the sound of my voice, whether you or your family members, you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life. But tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. Lift your hands. Goodness. I see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now. At the count of three, with the clash of the symbol alone. One, two, three. Jesus. Now I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Powers. Powers of darkness. Spirit husband. Spirit wife. I cause you. I cause you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause you them out. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release the marriages. Every spirit that you have been covenanted with that is stopping you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Break it, 
Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hey. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. The sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry. Lift your hands. My God, I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. When I count three, shout that name. That power must let you go. That power must let you go. I come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of Jesus. Hear my sound in the realm of the spirit that at the count of three, let God's people go. One, two, three. Let them go. I command the release. Exodus. Exodus. From this land of delay. Exodus. I prophesy. I decree. I declare. Establish it. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cups but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people it's still an aspect of deliverance at the count of three this will happen thank you my god one two three let the angels move right now let there be a movement a stirring a stirring a stirring a separation a stirring by the power the fire the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Rekete, I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus To break every chain 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 Hallelujah Gabriel Who is Gabriel? Gabriel Gabriel, the Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel, I give the chains for him. Gabriel, I give the chains for him. Bring this lady. Oh, 
chains break chains let her go now by the fire of the Holy Ghost look at this lady has been tied down hallelujah this is the cause of hardship on our family there's nothing that they do that will succeed it doesn't matter what happens but right now I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm go go right now go by the power of the Holy Ghost let her go the same thing is happening to that lady let her go now let her go one or shall lay your hands on her both of them both of them go Go right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Oh. Break chains. Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here. God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, I instruct you to let God's people go. At the count of three, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely bring her change for me. Hey, hey. I hear, I hear the, the chains falling. Come, just leave her. She will come. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. I hear How can a lady do this? Chains. Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Uh, you just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place. Today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest. Pain around the chest region. Hallelujah. Lay your hands there right now. Ulcer, peptic ulcer. Chains. Leave her, she will come right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, listen, a number of you are going to feel something just leave you when that happens to you please run and come out here and you will literally feel something leaving you when that happens let's have those people here hallelujah thank you jesus lay one hand and lift one hand up and let me pray for you thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus just help me with the symbol right now in the name of Jesus be healed be healed whatever is holding you peptic ulcer be healed I command that spirit out of them now out of them now out of them now that spirit Leave them now. Be healed. Be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. 
Do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap. Just this kneecap. Very severe pain. In fact, it even affects you sometimes when you are walking. Where? Which of them? How long has it been? Okay. Lay your hands there. Both of you. Pastor, right? You're a pastor? Okay, no. I, I, lay your hands. That devil is a liar. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Huh? I've been having this knee problem. The bone is very tiny. The bone is tiny. And the load is heavy. And the load is heavy on it. I even felt Hold my hands. Way. It's okay. Bone grow. In the name of Jesus. Grow. I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you. Please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Yeah. Just. No, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain? Any pain? Don't pretend it. Don't worry. God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost what is this that I'm seeing I'm seeing money but it's tied with snakes this is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit the Lord is bringing financial restoration Lord let it be I stretch my hands by the force of the Holy Ghost using him as a point of contact in the name that is above all names let there be breakthroughs in the name of Jesus God bless you God bless you. Victoria. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Please, if I call your name or your case, just hurry up. We have a lot to do so that we can. Victoria. There are two Victorias outside. There are two Victorias that are supposed to come outside. Where are you coming from? Outside here. Yeah? Victoria. There's one more Victoria outside. Both of you are outside. The Lord will visit you. How are you, my dear? Are you married? You know why? Do you know why? That's one of the reasons why you came here, B. Is that not so? You were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, Have sir. we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go right Amen. now. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he, was, he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he sir. just gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. 
Is that not? Now, even now, even now, pain, now you are yes. feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. And you have Im sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. Do hit yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014, I lay my hands upon you and I release you to your marital destiny. Come, my dear. Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she stand there. Look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a herbalist. Listen. They took you to a herbalist and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please. This person I've spoken about, please make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a herbalist. They gave you something. One kind of... You are the one? Is he the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait. Stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams. And he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now. And you will be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting. And ordinance. Right now. Be free. Everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried but your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely 
part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings, but I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? You need to be very, very serious with God. Welcome home. God loves you and he wants to transform your life. Huh? But for now, you'll be delivered. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I curse this spirit. Leave her now. I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go. Take away this devilish thing you are put in her life. Right now. Out. I hear the chains falling. You are not standing in for yourself, but for your elder sister. God wants to visit her. Lay your hands on your stomach because what is happening to her will happen to you. Lord, I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body. Even right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to break the spirit of loss from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Break on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play some good flow. Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yeah. You will be delivered. Yeah. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, 
so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the Lord will correct it my brother the Lord bless you you are born again you love Jesus yes, just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me Jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life father by your mercy in the name of Jesus go that's the end he's free I need to pray for you you're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands and within two weeks you will have a major financial restoration two weeks you believe it Jesus confirm your word right now out of her now out of her that devil of darkness I command financial restoration for you where are the children both of you you love God you are going to teach the word you huh? this boy he's going to love God and he's going to, you know this now God has already told you yes he has been God has told you he, he, he has, has been, been into it he has, he has been, been into it yes. because the Lord showed me I saw him standing with a Bible and the Lord says he will teach the word hallelujah I'll pray for you you don't teach the Bible just with English there is an anointing tonight I lay my hands upon you let that spirit of wisdom and understanding come upon you right now step into a new dimension I open your understanding to understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ you love God but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment you will not join bad people you want to be successful but what God does not give you you cannot get huh? because there are bad people around your life you are a good person but there are all kinds of bad people and we must pray huh? lay your hands on your chest there's something that will leave you you did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God but tonight my God let there be deliverance you are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now let him go right now thank you Jesus restore this family oh God in the name of Jesus go and return with your testimony where is the guy that has been skipping from university to university his sister brought him are you here the last Nsuka, bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come and come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen, I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, it's not car is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration hallelujah how many universities come you are come are you not the one who brought him how many universities same university they've they've driven him twice twice you think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice unn right nsuka yes, god will deliver him Amen. come my brother it's not it's not like you are lazy huh it's not like you are lazy because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth and you cannot even articulate it's, like, it's as if you are manipulated God is going to set you free you believe this? yes Lord you reign forever Lord you reign forever Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now and you'll be free. Let him go. Now! Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. 
restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten in the name of Jesus Christ restore to him restore to him let him rise up a brand new person hallelujah if there's any case of barrenness here whether for yourself or for your loved ones please come out here if you're married and you're experiencing barrenness let them stand in the front if you're standing here for yourself please don't just be emotional we're not joking here this is very serious business look at me look at me listen let me tell you something and don't please don't find it offensive every case of barrenness is demonic what did i say every every i don't care what the doctors say whether they say there is a womb or no womb the the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person but i'm telling you it must be resolved spiritually hallelujah Please keep playing. You're tired. Play the strings. Ladies and gentlemen, see the number of people standing for loved ones. How many of you are standing in for yourself? For your sister, just look at me. Look at me. She's going to be delivered right now where she is from me. Don't worry. Just look at me. Just look at me let her go you are feeling something coming up on you right now let her go now by the power of the holy ghost whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant i'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue but when god steps in you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before his presence came and changed me just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up madam come let me pray for you look at me how many years And then he stopped. We are going to pray. Look at me. This is a family thing. Hold on. Because it's not only you. Who else? My junior sister. Your junior sister has the same thing. She has never had a child. That's to tell you this is a spirit. But as God sets you free, he will set her free too. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Go and have your child. Father, in the name of Jesus, I open up your womb to receive baby boy. You will come back with your baby boy. Your hands and sing please lift your hands i'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of god will come upon you and that person in question will be released you are standing as a point of contact my god i pray that from my left to my right in the name of Jesus let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three one two three right now wombs be open wombs be open take it take it take it take it miracle children take it for your loved ones take it take it from the realm of the spirit whoever you are standing in for i command all medical complications go all medical complications 
go I cause fibroid I cause every cyst in the name of Jesus all those who do not have wounds we put brand new wounds now brand new wounds in the name of Jesus the fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things burning a lot of chaff every spirit of miscarriage I curse it right now I curse it right now I curse it right now the spirit of miscarriage every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb I arrest you you are bound you remain bound hallelujah I prophesy to every one of you here make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them that in the name that is above all names they will not only take in they will give birth like the Hebrew women we forbid CS in the name of Jesus they will give birth normally no devil will eat up any child there will be no miscarriage and for those who have stayed a long time we command twins we command triplets let there be a restoration i provoke it by the hand of god please don't think we're just entertaining prophecy does not just reveal it creates it creates it creates i tell you a lot of things are happening pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman mary said be it unto me we put miracle children in their wombs right now from the realm of the spirit hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere hallelujah now very quickly if you came here specifically for healing i want to minister to the sick right now specifically for healing or you brought someone sick now is your time please quickly ushers coordinate them so that they will line up very well you came here with any infirmity please If you brought someone, now is the time to bring them out. The worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil. No matter how far you are, wherever you are, please find your way to the front. You came here for healing. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name. please i need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas there are people who your own is not sickness your own is breakthrough please just line up those under the anointing just leave them there is a pool some of you as you are standing here right now the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister now we are going to do it very fast hallelujah listen it doesn't matter what your sickness is right the anointing is not just the ability to heal it's the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem are you getting my point so while you are standing i like you to pray and say lord i'm not going back the same i'm tired this is it this is it Worship team leaders, Bishop, please come help me.
Pastor Williams. Hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you have not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus. What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Change this lady's genotype right now, baby. Let SS change to AA right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus. There is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus. Hold on, please. Your son too is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. Healing in your name. Jesus. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. Now, and God is out. Come out, a glory out of her. Now, God. out of her. Now, that devil of darkness, God is be healed. Now, out of her, a spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now. Say, God.
wanna join. Be healed right now. I change that medical result. somebody a lady outside there is one lady the power of God will come mightily upon her please bring her in I need to speak to her the power of God will come very mightily on one lady very very mightily I can't remember why I called you people honestly let me pray for you your father is in this meeting where is he i need to talk to him you're the best eh? he's not around i mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not here. okay i thought he was around i need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what i'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered father confirm your word i give you praise Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um... I'm not going to ask you to come out but I hope that they came out here we want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases I just want to take one or two minutes 
and rebuke incurable diseases because if we do not help God's people medically is incurable HIV hepatitis all these satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be so please stand up everybody stand up please Please rise up everybody. We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it. And in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed, please connect with them even as we pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands anyone with HIV in this place I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ HIV be healed in the name of Jesus cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. For blood groups, we are going to deal with that one when I minister prophetically. Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families with uncompleted building projects. Please find your way quickly and just stand here. The Lord wants to minister. Just one word I will speak. I want you to believe. I'm not saying you want to build a house. Please. The power of God is touching people and changing uncompleted projects. Uncompleted projects. Please believe what I'm saying. I'm not just playing pranks here. As you're standing here, the Lord is going to set people free. Okay, if, if there's no space, just stand where you are and then I'll pray for you. Lift your hands, everybody. It will surprise you. The Bible says how that the hand of God came Lift your hands. The hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran. The Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel. I want to pray. We are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me. Specifically for building projects. Some of them are tied down because of finance. Some of them are tied down because of court issues. Some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir or Gaza God is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft God is going to set you free are you getting what I'm saying lift your hands please my God I pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles I want you to believe Many of you are going to feel literally like fire. It will come on your right hand. It will come on your right hand in a very powerful way. All across here right now, the angel of the Lord will move right now. Right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, move right now. Everything stopping any uncompleted project. Your right hand, 
the power of God is a prophetic language the right hand of God is power and by that power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of Jesus be completed now in the name of Jesus every power stopping any building project I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus every lack of finance responsible I command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of God the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in Jesus name God bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the Lord is ministering to me Mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the Lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation God is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if, you, if this is if you are part of these people I have mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent I am just flowing as the Holy Spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is, is, is one of the people and she will be delivered right now no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as I pray the power of God will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody Please stand up, everybody. Bala, you're just going to clash the simba for me. I'm going to pray. Because this is a very demonic thing. The Lord is ministering to me. This is the deliverance of someone right now. A snake or a, or a dog, an animal, beat you in the dream. It didn't create any effect, but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the cymbal there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out jump out and go one two three go 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 out of them out of them some people in the congregation it will touch you there too out of them every foul spirit i'm going to lay my hands on everybody there. out of them 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 please help them devil of darkness out of them out of them come out come out everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation
families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's alright. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not alright. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality and we come and preach in church. We say stop it. It can't be stopped till that devil gives way bring this lady for me let her go now once and for all remove this demonic ring I see a lot of rings on her feet on her hands remove it and pack your load and go 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 You should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. This is our own usher. Go. Go. I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit 
that is tormenting this lady the Lord is showing me this thing has been in this family for 178 years this is what God is showing it has nothing to do with her out in the name of Jesus Christ let's save time have you submitted this father let none of these people return with any influence it must let them go it must let them go hallelujah so you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting this child is not good you think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around brothers and sisters there are influences and it takes the power of the holy spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of god can enter the reality of their inheritance that's why you see people who keep testifying oh breakthrough just started happening in my family you may not know what has been limiting them that's why here we don't just heal the sick i told you the anointing is the power of god to solve problems any kind of problem it's not just healing it's not just wheelchairs there are destinies that are tied down and they need the power of god you will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight doors will just be opening you will see how easy it is and then you will know that something happened to you it doesn't matter whether you came out here or not once you are under the influence of this sound something is happening to you hallelujah i want to pray on this request right now hallelujah many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here please if anyone has not submitted your request do that very fast as we pray on these requests i don't care what you wrote here may this be the last time you will see it in the name of jesus christ every pharaoh and every egypt that you wrote and dropped here as surely as the lord god lives this will be the very last time hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues bishop come please pastor williams come as we pray on the request pray in tongues pray in tongues make sure you are praying in tongues visitation oh god visit your people visit your people oh god let there be breakthroughs visit your people visit your people visit your people visit your people, visit your people. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online, they should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear, oh, yeah. Thank 
Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we we'll begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came, you came from another place. What I mean, minister, make sure you're a preacher, minister of the gospel, you're a ministry, and you came from outside of this state. Please come out. I want to minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Is there anyone like that? Please quickly, quickly, let's save time. Just come and line up here. The Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air. It has no nothing to do with that. Hallelujah. Ministry with integrity, with the fear of the Lord. That who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. I want to pray for you. That God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders. That struggling will end for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands as I pray for you. My God, in the name of Jesus, let something come upon them. In the name of Jesus, let something come upon them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let something come upon them. In the name of Jesus, let something come upon them. Let something come upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're about rounding up. Please rise up. The prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned. Please stand up everybody. This is the moment I want you to shout Amen. We're about to open doors, breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wherever you can hear my voice, make sure that you shout a big amen. Please lift your hands. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This is not the doing of any man. What you see is an election of grace. When God calls people, he empowers them. There are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story. Hallelujah. And I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life. This is the part you get to receive. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Can you play the keyboard, Mike, please? Please lift your hands.
I want you to shout amen with everything that you have. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus we shatter that gate into pieces I shatter it into pieces into pieces I command gates 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 hear ye the word of the Lord gates I command Ephata be open be open be open be open gates of marriages gates of restoration be open anyone trusting God for a job here in the name that is above all names I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us may they find you may they help you may they honor you for every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name I command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of God go to every faculty every department we command change Any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever plan evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us let the sword of judgment whoever said your family will not lift up their heads. May my God judge them. May my God judge them. Hallelujah. Every ordinance of darkness, every enchantment, every spell that has been written over your life, that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwritings we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration i prophesy i decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like Samson, many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return. I want to prophesy to you, just like the hair of Samson grew back, I call forth anointings 
that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times make it change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the Simba and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you every gift available for your enriching I command prayer fire take it now take it now prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire Reketetete e prokotoba mambrakata e koske e bandapa reketetete reketetete e prokotoba I found the fire on your prayer altar it comes back alive I pray for you right now the Bible says because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with the oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows the anointing for distinguishing take it now take it now take it now take it now everywhere you go be set apart be distinguished take it now hallelujah hallelujah and the Bible says Esther went to a man called Haggai the one who took care of the virgins of the king and he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year and she passed the king once and he found favor I want to pray for you that anointing that can cause you to write sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now receive it now receive it now
Shaka Baba Sekete Mam Protoskopa Shoteke Tete Tekete Baba 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 Mam Pratekete Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying and say, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born. That out of the seven billion people in the earth, you were born for a reason. Therefore, my God, let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of Jesus. Through dreams, through visions, through prophetic confirmations, receive the mandate of your life. Receive the blueprint of your life. Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is, pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience, right now, I judge the spirits behind it. I judge the spirits behind it. And I command them to let you go. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from every habit. Be free. Hallelujah. For those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again, it's not like you're not serious. You don't even know what has happened to you. There's no zeal to study the word. Some of you are finding yourself, you were once on fire. In terms of your word life, some of you would pray through the night, some of you would study. Suddenly, distractions happen. I want to pray right now. Son of man, can these bones live again? And he said, Only down knowest. I prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place. My God, I pray, let the wind, the east wind that reawakens dead things, that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit, let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now. 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right. There are others who have never made this decision for Jesus. You go to church, you have a Christian name. Hallelujah. And there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored. As I count one to five, those three categories of people, whether you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing or you are praying and saying, Lord, I want to be serious with you from today. Or you are saying, Lord, I'm surrendering everything. As I count one to five, please, I'd like you to run like your life depends on it. God is waiting for you right here. One, please don't wait for anybody. Two, inside and outside. 
it doesn't matter what you have done run 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 i didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart Lord Jesus I repent of my sins you're not reciting a poem make sure you understand what you're saying I repent of my sins and I love you with all my heart forgive me today I make Jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the lord now look at me every one of you i congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and i want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow bishop stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the holy spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m prompt please 5 p.m prompt for now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they'll have your information we'll pray for you and we'll follow you up god bless you please follow them God bless you. Follow them very quickly. Hallelujah. Let's take the following announcements very quickly. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, this is your first time. Aside from those who are going out, if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at Koinonia, we love you and we want to bless you. Please, wherever you are, just find your way to the front right now. God bless you. Please find your way quickly, quickly. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is not your best. There are people who came all the way from Jos, all the way from Abuja, different parts. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Koinonia, the ministry put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate and we celebrate you. We meet every Friday. This is not our venue. Our venue is CGC. We had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there. So we'll be there 
from next week we're back to our venue the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you thank you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.